Hi, I'm Claire. Hey, I'm Robert. Nice to meet you. You too. Um, so can you tell me about your film? Sure. It's uh, called When My Sorrow Died, The Legend of Armin Ra and the Theremin. And it's a feature-length documentary about uh, this guy named Armin Ra, who's the world's greatest theremin player. And for most people don't know what the theremin is by the name, but it's the sound you hear in the old 50s, 60s, like sci-fi horror movies. The That's the theremin. And it's the world's first electronic instrument, and it's played without touching anything. Like you just manipulate the air around the instrument that, and it emits electromagnetic waves. So the person standing in front of the instrument basically acts as its conductor. And this guy Armin Ra is the world's greatest theremin player. And his story is one of like ups and downs, pretty much down his whole life. And uh, you know, he was born in Iran to a very wealthy family, experienced the revolution, was a refugee in America, lost everything, had to start from the ground up, very gay like flamboyantly gay ever since he was a little kid and he couldn't hide it at all like that's just who he was always so he was constantly beat up and tortured left school went to New York when he was like 14 and started living in the underground scene in New York became one of the top drag queens in like high society New York and um, drugs alcohol all this stuff you know many suicide attempts and then eventually he found the theremin which kind of like uh, saved his life because he dedicated himself to something completely, which was real and art, which he believed to be art, as opposed to being a drag queen, which was kind of fake in his opinion. How did you meet him? I met him in 2010. I was writing a short film, and I was listening to old Armenian music on YouTube. Because I'm Armenian, he's also Armenian, we're both from LA. Well, he lives in LA now, but anyway. Um, and on the side it said, you know, Armin Ra plays Dele Yaman, which is a very old, very sad Armenian song on theremin. And he looks funky, he looks interesting, it's a sad song. I knew what a theremin was, so I gave it a shot. And he played it really, really, really beautifully. And so I emailed him, I said, hey, I'm Armenian, you're Armenian, I'm making a short, I haven't got any money, can I use your music? He said, yeah, use all my YouTube stuff. He had an album, so it was, there was licensing issues, so, you know, and I didn't have any money, so I couldn't do that. But uh, I used his YouTube stuff, and uh, that film that I made in the summer premiered at this theater in LA called the Egyptian Theater. And Armin Ra, you know, his name is off of Amin Ra, the Egyptian sun god. So, you know, and my film was the first to use his music. And he thought it was all very fortuitous, you know. So that's how we met and we kept in touch ever since. What led you into this? Have you done a documentary nope. like this before? First one. It was supposed to be a music video. Okay. And, then, and then the music video became a short and uh -huh. then short became this big feature. So when and where will your documentary be showing? It's playing. Uh, in Macon today, what's today, the 28th? Today, the 28th at 1.45, and it's playing also Sunday uh, at 2.45. But we had our festival premiere two Thursdays ago in LA, and we won Best Documentary there, which is cool. And right now, the producer and Armin are in Australia for another festival for our international premiere, where we were featured as the opening night film like the gala presentation and the producer emailed me this morning apparently sold out there was a standby standing ovation like it was really cool so we're starting our run on a very uh, positive foot forward which is nice what did you learn from working with him from Armin mm -hmm. <sighs> I think to roll with the punches he, like he came from a life of uh, availabilism, he called it, because he wasn't, you know, he came from a life of wealth and it all was taken from him because of the revolution. So he had to learn how to cope. And he was obsessed with beauty, obsessed with art, but he couldn't really create any of it because he didn't have the means. So he did what he could with what he had. And that was kind of the same situation for us. We were an independently financed film. We had an Indiegogo campaign, you know, and we raised 25,000. We also got funding from private uh, sources. But you know, it wasn't a huge budget. But I think with the budget we had, we were able to create a film that reflects Armin's sensibilities because, it's, like I said, he's obsessed with beauty and art. So the aesthetic of the film had to be beautiful and artful. And I think we pulled that off for sure. So I think the biggest thing I learned from him was uh, to basically, basically availabilism. Do the best with what you have. And it was my first feature film. You know, it was like a month-long shoot. So I learned more patience, more calm, you know. and. Uh, letting the flow of universe, life, whatever you want it to just take you and you just go with it. What has his reaction been to the film? He loves it. He loves it. I mean, he's, I think he's like an old 
Hollywood movie star reborn into this weird, sexless alien being that he is. You know, if you, if you see the pic picture of him, like you'll see what I mean. He's a very incredibly singular and unique person. I've never met anyone like him before. And um, he loves it. So just seeing his face on the screen and his music there, and it's all about him, you know, he digs it a lot. Is Megan Film Festival the first festival it's being shown at? No, or we. After LA? Well, we had the LA thing, and mm -hmm. uh, concurrently, it's in Australia too right now. So okay. this LA, Megan, and this one in Australia called Byron Bay are the first three. Where's your next stop? I th think we're going to Chicago in about a month. There's, we got into one in Chicago and then another one in, mm, I can't remember what the other one is, but we have like 30 that we're waiting to hear back from. Well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Art Matters is an arts journalism partnership of Make an Art Alliance and Mercer University Center for Collaborative Journalism that seeks to engage the community through embedded arts journalism. This project is supported in part by an award from the National Endowment for the Arts, Artworks, additional funding provided by the John S. and James L. Knight Foundation.